You were the, one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. You were like the GOAT. What was the type of content that really led to those 2 million subscribers? Pranks, hidden camera stuff, street interviews. What else do you remember about Danny during those early days? I was like, Danny, yeah, go cut people in line. I remember like just filming you. I was like, wow, he's like fearless. Would you ever want to buy an NBA team or anything? But Danny, you said no to a huge deal. What was it, like a few million dollar deal? Like, <laughs> more money, more problems. And you, I feel like as you get more wealthy and are put in more environments, like you see more shit. It's like crazy. When are you going to be done? Like how much money to retire? What an honor. I've been, ever since I started this podcast, I was like, we got to get Andrew Hales here. Yeah. Thanks. How are we going to get him here? It's really off the cuff. Like I just was, or you're like, yeah, you want to be on it tomorrow? I forgot I had a podcast, honestly. And then I was like, dude, he's in, he's in town. We got to do the podcast. <laughs> Andrew, where are, you, where are you based? Nashville now. Oh, right on. Yeah. I've been there for two years. Uh, we just moving. We moved from LA for a cheaper living and it's been fun. Yeah. Yeah. I want, I want to talk about how you changed your lifestyle because you were living out in LA back when Danny was coming here and kind of finding his way as well. Do you remember your first time meeting Danny? Yeah. Uh, 2015 is the first time I met Chris Chan and they picked me up and we went to oh, the yeah. barracks and skated and yeah. I remember it so vividly. It's like, it was crazy. Like, it's like eight years ago. Yeah, it was. What, what was your first impression? Because you, you, at that point, I think you had one million, two million. Like you, you, you've been two at- Two million. You know. I've been kind of at two million <laughs> for, for about eight years. <laughs> but no, well, when you had two million though back then, I was telling him it was like, it, it meant a lot more. That was like, it was like legitimate. Like t nowadays, so many people have two million. When you yeah. had the two million, I remember, because I had nothing then, it was like, there weren't many people with 2 million s subscribers back then, you know, it was like, yeah, it was yeah. a way bigger deal. You were one of, the, one of the biggest YouTubers in the world at that point. Yeah, I think at one point I was like in the top 100, like in yeah. 2012 or something. Mm. Yeah, so I definitely do think it's a little different, like, because nowadays, I mean, you could just spam shorts and get 2 million, like no issue. Man, it's, it feels like honestly a blur, but I think I was, I remember doing the stretching thing and then eventually I stopped doing it. And then I would like do landscaping in Florida, get money, go to LA, stay there for whatever months. Also, too, back then, I feel like you needed to kind of be in L.A., whereas, like, nowadays, you don't need to be in L.A. But, like, back then, it felt like, at least for me, where I, the position yeah. I was at, it was like, I needed to be in L.A. To, I needed to be in L.A. to film. Well, you were to, still to trying up. to do, like, something with skateboarding, right? I, no, I think at that point, I was already done. Okay. Yeah, but I was, like, trying to do YouTube full-time. Well, I was doing it full-time, but I was trying to make actual money from it, you know? Yeah, I remember that night, though, we were, I was at Chris's house, and then he was like, oh, shit, Andrew Hales. Oh, uh, tweeted at me. <laughs> he wants to skate or something. And then we're like, oh, shit. I remember. Oh, this was Chris's first time meeting you, too. So, yeah, right. Chris, Chris had known who he was, obviously. And, and Chris is like a legitimate skateboarder. So, like, you know, Andrew Hales or Andrew Hales, like he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's like fucking skating and shit, too. So that obviously then we, we met him. We went and picked him up the next day. I remember I remember like exactly like picking you up on fucking North Harvard Boulevard. I remember that. Yeah. Did Luke, and I think Luke was with you, too. And I remember like meeting Luke and like we all we all like. Uh, was he with me? I think he was. I could be. No, I think he was like. Yeah. I'm not 100 percent, but I'm pretty sure I think Luke was there. Yeah. And I remember we all hung out and then and then like me and me and Chris were both like just like fangirling. You know what I mean? Like it was like. Well, yeah, so I, remember I, I like I was like, hey, what's up? And I sat in the back seat and you guys were kind of a little quiet. I was like, let's let's go. Oh yeah, and then we picked up Cody Sapita, and they were doing the oh yeah, I remember that, that too. battle of barracks yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was and then like six or something. And then we went to I don't I don't remember if it's like the next day, but I feel like it was right after this. Then that's when we went to Cal State Fullerton. Yeah. And you and Chris were collabing, but then Chris gets like a little bit of social anxiety, you know, and gets scared. Mm -hmm. So he was you were trying to. We well, yeah. Well, also I was like I was in a bad habit of just like letting other people do stuff, and I would I was yeah. just lazy about it. Yeah. What do you mean? I would, wouldn't feel like doing any pranks and I would just sit behind the camera and stuff and <laughs> Danny and I was like Danny yeah go don't go cut people in line or whatever and, and, and he was totally down context. so yeah I did those up until like 2015 16 probably like 100 150 different pranks and I was getting sick of it and then I transitioned into sort of a podcast as a, I call it chatting with and that's one on one interviews just with people from all walks of life uh, you know, chatting with the burn victim, chatting with the marriage counselor, you know, whatever. Then the last um, couple of years, I switched to street interviews. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So. And so you were shooting a video called Cutting in Line. They were filming, They Chris and him were just doing a collab. And then like, he was, I think Chris was trying to do something, but then didn't want to do it. And then I was like, we, we could do this, you know, and then, yeah, yeah. and then, it, dude, but keep in mind, you, I had no following yet. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. he's like a hero of mine. It's just like crazy. So then it ended up being like, I cut people in line and then we got the security guard in on it where when I cut people in line, they're gonna yell and bitch at the security guard. But when he comes, 
whoever told me to, whoever like told on me, the security guard would kick them to the back <laughs> and say that they cut. And he was down. And he, I think he lost his job later on, but it was like, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, someone told me. So, um, so yeah, I'm doing this prank and he's fucking filming me. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? It was like crazy, you know? So that was cool. And then, uh, yeah, I remember like just filming you. I was like, wow, he's like fearless. And <laughs> it just, it all came really natural to you. Yeah. It ended up working. I, we, yeah. I think I posted a video on my channel, but it did, it did really well for me back then. Like hmm. I remember eventually getting like a hundred K views and I was like, and again, like a hundred K views back then, like the views and subs back then definitely meant more oh, yeah. than what they do now. It's, CPM was probably a little higher too. Yeah. I don't remember making <laughs> much, but yeah. Don't you like a monotone? Yeah. I, yeah. I always like that. I've always it. been monotone. Yeah. Hey. Is, is there somebody or a conversation that you've had on the street in your videos that's changed your mind the most? There's this one guy that was like, that was like, I only eat meat. And that was the first time I heard of the carnivore diet. And because it was taught, we were talking about like McDonald's and fast food and stuff. And um, yeah, and then he told me to read the carnivore diet. And I thought that was that, and that was just something off the top of my head that surprised me. Yeah, you, get, you hear all sorts of perspectives, whatever. How do you so. choose the topics that because you do the people on and then you kind of swap out the topics? Like, how do you think about the topic that you want to choose and put in there? It's like a mixture of whatever I think is interesting and whatever I think will might get clicks and the, and what the audience might want to see. Whatever will make daddy money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of it's that, like the the latest one is pretty much a cash grab. Is people on No Nut November, you know. So there's some interesting takes in there. Have you done any street interviews? I used to. I mean, when I first started, I would just mix it up with everything, you know. Yeah. Because I didn't want to get stuck in one little thing, but I do like eating challenges or interviews or whatever. I haven't done it in a while, though. I wouldn't mind adding like little bits here and there just to like mix up the vlog, like maybe a stunt and then, you know, maybe a little street interview and then some other shit. But yeah, I just get lazy and don't do it. What else do you remember about Danny during those early days in your, your first interactions? Um, he was really, he's like really extroverted, really outgoing, um, huge people person. Tiny um, dick. <laughs> huge dick. Yes, a lot. Like, didn't you make three, like, grocery shopping with Danny videos? Dude, like six. They killed it. Those, like, helped so much back then. Yeah. And then I want to do another one, but I just don't want it to be shittier than the last one. So I've been, like, hmm. I have an idea for one, but I need to, like, execute it, you know? And do you feel like as you've gotten bigger that you, you become a little more of a perfectionist? Like, I don't want to be, like, the movie, like, Dumb and Dumber is great and then Dumb and Dumber Ur is fucking right. just fried. It's yeah. like, what the fuck is this? Or yeah, or like the hangovers. Those are pretty good though. Third one was trash. I, I don't know if I've seen that one. The one yeah. when they when the little monkey grabs the guy's like dick, but you don't know it's his dick. That one's so funny. <laughs> I don't know. It's in Thailand, that. I think. Oh yeah, Thailand was too, that, I think. Yeah. That one's funny as fuck. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that in like ten years. You like never go to the movies, huh? I haven't been. I mean, COVID kind of fucked up the flow. Yeah, because you like forget like you can still go. I need to just go watch, and there hasn't really been a lot of good movies out. I feel like we went to the movies before. I remember. Yeah, we saw a train wreck. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, with, LeBron with, was underratedly no, good dude, in that. I know, yeah, dude, and so that's funny. one thing. Yeah, everyone talks shit about Amy Schumer, but even in, in that movie, I don't hear what anyone says. In that movie, that movie was good. Yeah, yeah. and she was good in that movie, and and John Cena was funny as fuck in that. LeBron James was funny as fuck. Yeah. Uh, was it uh, Heater? Bill he Bill Heater is that his name? Bill yeah. Heater. Bill, Bill Heater. Heater. He was yeah, the doctor. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, dude, that movie's yeah, good. Yeah. I yeah, like that movie. Yeah, yeah. Judd Apatow. Yeah. Yeah, John. Yeah. Classic. That's the only movie, or at least whenever whenever someone talks shit about Amy Schumer, I'm like, I don't know. I feel like in Trainwreck, she was good. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't watch her stand up though. So I don't. Yeah, I don't understand the hate towards her. So I think she's kind of funny, but and I don't really care. if She's like maybe. I, I think you can accidentally steal jokes too easily. Yeah, I, I, I think. Know. I think that a lot. I think when you have a big team too, things parallel that, that, thinking, that, yeah. yeah, all that. Do you feel like uh, you gave like Danny any advice during those early days? Because I, I feel like you were so far ahead and and had learned so much about YouTube at that point. Was there anything that you shared with Danny or other creators on the come up? Um, yeah, I, rem I remember he used to saying like we would be out filming and I'd be like, well, well the university is us working. Uh, we just have to keep, uh, and they'll it'll eventually reward us with like a viral video, you know. Yeah, I still like use that, that today. I, I think it's important. I think for people watching too, it's important. Like when you have goals and things you want to do, like. Do you journal? No, but like I do, I feel like I work really hard. And it, it, whether or not the success shows right in this moment for anyone too, like mm -hmm. I just feel like if you work hard every day and focus on what you want to do and just go and tr at least try to do it, 
if you really want it bad enough and you keep working, it's eventually going to happen. Like yeah. you yeah. will get re be rewarded for your, for your work. I don't, and there's no shortcuts obviously, but like, I think grit is <clears throat> yeah way more important than knowledge or talent or anything like that. Yeah. So, I, mean, yeah, I remember back then I was like, gritty. yeah, I was like, <laughs> how the fuck are like people like, you know, like Fufusis and those people like back then I was like, how am I fucking broke? And these guys have my, I would be like so confused. Cause I felt like we made good shit. And I was just like, yeah, when the fuck's it going to happen? Life too has so many like different, it feels like chapters. Like looking back on that, if it feels like a different world, different time, but it's, it's just crazy. It, it, it really feels like 20 years ago. I know like people, a lot of people like have the same thing. They're like, when is it going to happen for me? Like, you know, they, I think that like, there's a lot, most, I feel like most people, oh, right, right, most yeah. people in life are struggling. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, I feel yeah. like majority of the majority mm -hmm. of people, like 70% of the people watching are probably struggling or more, yeah. you know? So I feel like, I don't know though. People ask for advice, but I feel like you have to obsess over whatever it is you want. You have to like yeah, obsess over in it. In interviews, you usually say like, oh, I always knew I would be a star or something. Yeah, I was and positive. Like that's, I'm pretty sure most people don't think that way. Yeah, but if they feel that way, like whether they're going to be the best dog groomer or whatever the fuck it is, like you yeah. got to like know, like you got to have some sort of passion and like go for that, whatever it is, you know? Yeah. And also it's like, it's kind of vague, like just be a star. Like you didn't, like some people want to be a musician or whatever. Yeah, like and what I didn't, was, did you have anything like, like specific? No, I didn't know I'd do this. Like I just meant like I, when I was a kid and had no money, I just knew like one day I'd be rich. Hmm. I just, I did think I was, I thought it was going to be like maybe like a pro athlete or something. Like I remember in like elementary school, I just like signed my notebook in class, bored as fuck, just autographing it. Mm -hmm. Like thinking I would be like famous it's a baseball, or something. Yeah. yeah, or something like so I thought that, and then I was like, I would just obsess over money. Like, man, how am I going to get rich? I would just always think of ideas. Like, how can I get rich? How can I, my Didn't whole life. Didn't you work at Walgreens? Yeah. How long were you there? Um, Maybe like two years. That shit oh, sucked. Damn. Dude. Yeah. That's fucking hate so it. boring. I have my pen upstairs for like one year. <laughs> get a little, saved it. They give you a pen? They give you like a little pen. Yeah. Oh, a pen. Like a little, I don't know what they're called. Enamel pen. Is that what it's called? Yeah, like you yeah, put you on put shirts. Them on shit, yeah. Okay, yeah. Like I remember when I was working at Walgreens, though. Like, I, like on my break, I was like, I was trying to buy shoes from China, like Nike Free Runners, for like thirty bucks and then sell them for a hundred. So like on my break, I'm like trying to connect to the Starbucks Wi-Fi across the street to like <laughs> on eBay try to sell these like rip off <laughs> shoes. Like I was just always like trying to Man. do something. What was the first like um, business book you ever read? Did you read Tony Robbins stuff in high school? T Tony, yeah, yeah, I read Tony Robbins, um, Unle Unleash the Giant Within. In high school. I, okay. I don't even know if I finished it, but I remember just like, just reading that it. That was like, like a good foundation. I, I always had like, not, not, I don't even know for business, but I always had, I felt like I always had a good perspective about life at a young age. Okay. Like, like wisdom. I feel like I had that early, maybe from the experience I went through. I don't know, but. Do you still read regularly? I, I do the audio books. Yeah. 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 yeah use code Danny, uh, text uh, 200, 200, imagine. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I always do audio. I wouldn't have been books. surprised. Audible's everywhere. Yeah. They used to sponsor. I wish, dude. I love them. <laughs> But I just do the books thing on the phone and yeah, I'll yeah. just get that. But the audio ones are great. Cause I'll like car rides or traveling. Like I, when I'm in traffic, if I'm into the book, you know, yeah, it's nice. Cause I don't give a fuck about the traffic. Yeah. I like that. But I feel like less of a piece of shit if I'm like learning. Well, I've been, I've been doing Instacart and DoorDash and I've been plug it, I've plug your just, code, dude. Oh wait. Well, for, for people to do DoorDash or, <laughs> uh, what's What's Instacart? I don't know. Well, <laughs> Instacart, you, you go grocery shop for people. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. And oh, um, and you do that while like listening to a book. Yeah, uh, I see. So, what what books have changed your life the most lately? Uh, Atomic Habits. You yes, read that? yeah, James Clear. It's a real big one mm -hmm. lately. Well, you had I remember at the Harvard apartment. I remember you were telling me because I really hadn't read many books or at least even finished books. Mm -hmm. But I remember you had like the Four Hour Work Week, and you were telling me how like that that's, one really helped you a lot. Yeah, that's one of my favorite books. Yeah, yeah, and I met him. You should get him on the show. I too. never read it. I want to read yeah, it. Tim yeah. Ferriss. Um, yeah, I just love all the uh, the way he writes and makes everything seem easy and not too hard to do, and you know the eighty twenty rule and mm -hmm. what you know just make just all the little principles in it. You know, you read it right? Oh yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that's one of the books that changed my perspective. It's like yeah, the way you could just like create these systems, like hire out, like it's just passive income, passive income, automation, all that. Yeah, I feel like Tim is one of the. Oh, geez. I've probably read it like five times in my life. Really? <laughs> yeah. Rich Dad Poor Dad, I liked as a beginner, like one of the first like business books, I think. Hmm. It was like really easy to understand. You got like a, or can we not talk about it yet? The, the uh, Matador? Yeah, we can talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Are you excited? I can't wait. <laughs> Why? 
it's you, been over are fucking you, two years. Do dude. you do you sit down like with a notebook and write like your like commercial ideas? I, I visited Danny in Inglewood, and he had this thing like in his like like in that um, like where now it's mini golf is going to be. It's just like I want to say map of like Danny Duncan, like and then book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one of my friends told me to do it for like just to kind of like like a mind get all your shit, almost. but like yeah, just yeah. to like organize. But now I just want to do stuff that's like on brand for me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like as long as it's like something I enjoy and like it's on brand. Where that one, it's like. I'd been wanting, I, at first I was like, how the fuck is like, why isn't like Red Bull or Rockstar or Monster or any of these companies like paying me, paying me money right now? Like okay. I felt like, you know, I, I, I should be getting something, you know, maybe like wait, wait, do why? something because with you were, I just feel like I'm in a good space. I have a good, a really good engagement. Right, I have, right. Okay. I have so many people have no proof of sales. I have so much proof of sales. Like I've mm -hmm. done three fucking tours over a hundred shows. Did you reach out to them to do something? I mean, yeah, we've hit up, we've, I mean, I've tried to hit up everyone, but like, um, Sometimes you right. just, have, just have to ask, you know? Yeah, yeah, So, um, you know, I feel like my, I'm not like, you know, I'm not fucking evil Knievel, but like we do cool stuff, you yeah. know? And, and like with the way the world's going, I feel like I'm in a good position to, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know? So I was just a little confused. So I was like, I wanted to do an energy, energy drink. So I was like, I was like, fuck, I don't, I mean, to be honest, I don't want to compete with Red Bull and Monster. I didn't really care. I, I, I'm not, I know I'm not that big, you know? So I was mm -hmm. like, fuck it. So I had just been looking into stuff and the, the five hour energy, it just seems so stale to me. It's just like the same shit for the last 20 years. It's like you walk in, it looks exactly the same as it did I 10 mean, years ago. Same with Coco. It's yeah, exactly. Classic formula. Exactly. So, so in my opinion, I was just like, dude, I also drink it and it, it, it's okay, but it's not the best. And I think it kind of tastes like shit. Okay. So they're like 88 or 89% of the whole market for that category. So they did that because they didn't want to compete for refrigeration space. That's why they're there. Whoa. So I was like, I think in my opinion, I had already been working on a condom idea for fucking years that we wasted time. FDA wouldn't approve it. Same thing. Trojan yeah. is just the shitty condoms. They've been there for 90% of the market in the yeah. US. They're suck. How, how do you figure that stuff out? Like reading Forbes or something? I just keep Googling and Googling and Googling. I mean, I guess it could be wrong, but I think it's accurate. Okay. It makes sense to me. It's like okay. everyone knows Trojan. It's like, dude, they suck. They smell like shit. Like, so I wanted to try to make something better. FDA wouldn't approve it. So then that's when I transitioned into the... Um, my energy idea. Sweet. So I was like, it's really on brand for me. Same with the condoms. I have 94% male audience. So I was like, it's very on brand. I was just like, fuck, I like that idea of the fiber energy. I wanted uh, something I use. Yeah. I, I mean, I like energy. I want to be in the energy space because my content matches up perfect. Yeah. I have 94% male audience. Yeah. And it's addicting. Is it? Caffeine? Yeah, of course. Really? <laughs> <laughs> As he sits on so <laughs> Gavin, have I you love seen, it. No, have you seen Thank You for Smoking? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that scene, there's a scene where he's just like, the guy, the CEO of the tobacco company, he's like, come on, guys, T cigarettes are cool, available, and addictive. God damn it, the, it's done, the job is done for us, you know? They're it's crazy. <laughs> it's like crazy that that's real life. I know. Like, what, with tobacco? Just like the fact that like marijuana is like... Oh, yeah. It was illegal for so long, but then it's like alcohol and cigarettes are completely fine for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all uh, lobbying. Uh, of course. But it's just like, it's just, as you get I older. Know, yeah, it's ridiculous. As yeah. you get older and realize more about the world and, and uh, mm -hmm. realize how f every single thing in life is about money. Everything. There's nothing that isn't about money. Anyone who thinks differently is a fucking idiot. Like every single thing about everything is. I'd it's say just crazy. Especially as you get richer, um, more money, more problems. It. And you know, but not even for me, but I, I feel like as you get more wealthy and are put in more environments, like put in bigger, bigger like situations. Like you see more shit. It's like crazy. Mm -hmm. Like everything. It's like, what the fuck? What, what caused you to move away from the condom brand? FDA wouldn't pr approve it. So you submitted multiple for a fucking spent two and a half years on it. And wow. you're, and you're convinced it was because Trojan. I think, I think you could, is it called lobbying? Yeah. yeah. If I would have paid, if I could have found the right person, oh, I'd pay hundred percent. Okay. Trojan is like 90% of the market, dude. They, they and they, yeah. I think lifestyle had sold for 880 million or something. It's like, man, you know, there's a lot of money in there, but I, I'm glad it didn't worry. Everything works for a reason. I, I, I yeah. like this energy shot a lot more. I think it's more on brand. Um, it's addictive. No, no. But, um, <laughs> you really should put that in the commercial. No, no, no. That could be funny. No, you don't. It no. is though. Like, I don't want to say it's addictive, but like I depend, dude, I fucking love caffeine, dude. Yeah. I, know. I don't do I, shit. I, I don't smoke. Cigarettes. I actually, I wanted to have one. I, I have an yeah, energy, have one. I have I have an energy one. drink every day. Yeah. Same. I go to Starbucks fucking. Like, you're you're going to send me a big thing of it, right? I'm going to hand deliver a lot of it. <laughs> okay. But, um, Sweet. yeah, but for me too, like I, I want to do more content. I want to be like. I mean, I love what Red Bull did. I love like like Black Rifle Coffee. I love what they're doing. But yeah. I also want to like have people doing shit with me, not just like right now my channel kind of depends on me. And the, you know, we got Kiwan on camera, a couple people, but it kind of depends on me. Okay. Whereas this is something I think 
as I get older, dude, I want to, it's like, I'm like, you know, I can like watch as a fan, right. but also as, as me. You want to be behind the camera doing stuff. Yeah. I can, I can find people that I'm a fan of, mm-hmm. give it them paid, but also build my company up a shit ton and make it worth yeah. way more money. Producing. So it's like, it's, it's like a win-win for everyone. But yeah. I, I mean, I, I like, I love sports. So it keeps me involved in sports and, and it keeps me involved in whatever type of crazy shit I want to do. This episode is brought to you by Prize Picks. Enjoy fantasy sports? Visit Prize Picks, a unique daily fantasy app where you pick individual players based on set projections. Rather than choosing teams, you decide if a player will exceed or fall short of their projection. If you're knowledgeable about sports, give the Prize Picks app a try. It's accessible in 70% of the United States, including California, Florida, and Texas, and Arizona. First time users can benefit from 100% deposit bonus by using the code Danny. Enter the code deposit 100 and they'll match it with an additional 100 by using the code Danny. Would you ever want to buy a, like an NBA team or anything? I mean, dude, if I had unli- yeah, unlimited money, that'd be sick. Which, I would, one, which one would you buy? Um, <laughs> I probably, would, I would rather do like some, a different sport probably. Okay, like you start well, okay what would. baseball or NFL team? Probably WNBA would be cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be sick. I don't know a, I don't know a da- WNBA team though. <laughs> Gosh. But I could get there. I'm okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn. You're doing a bit. No, no, I genuinely can't think of any. I can't either. The Chicago Sparks, Sky. isn't LA it? Sparks. Sparks. LA Sparks. Sparks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the W. I mean, this is. To- but I feel like they're about to have a moment. Their draft class. They need to lower the rim, dude. Oh, uh, they do. The unit. Oh, so that they can thoughts? dunk. You mean? Yeah, dude. Okay. No, I'm not I, I, hating. They're, I'm they're not latest, hating. Their draft class, like this year, reminds me a lot of when LeBron Wade and Carmelo came out of college. Like they got like NBA was already big though. Oh. But but nowadays, like the thing that's changed is like Steph Curry has made the no. three cooler the, than like a. I, I, yeah. and then some uh, people, a little bit. I agree with that. Some of these people are coming out like. But don't right you now, agree? Like, we're missing the dunk. backers. I don't know. I think, what? dude, the, the, the dude, three love, pointer where you shoot no. it and you turn around and you. Yeah, I know. I like that. But like, I, I love alley oops and I love dunks course, in the posters. Like, bro, I love that. Of and course. Like, and yeah. like, they don't Vince have Carter that. And all that. But you don't agree that, that that's not important? It, no, it is. It is. It is. It, it, but why it don't they lower the rim one foot so that maybe everyone can just be alley ooping and, and postering people? Well, maybe it's, it's too complicated because they grew up their whole life yeah, learning all, a 10 inch rim or 10 foot yeah, rim, yeah. you know? I don't think, I, dude, they're pros, dude. They're I good. Know. I think they'd be fine. No, but you think about, it's a great point. You think about how much, like, you have to change around the world there, yeah, with there's, every rim in gyms, parks, at yeah. 10 feet. You, and like, you can't, they're not adjustable. Yeah, they're not adjustable. They're like, so, the, the city, like, So you might right, as well keep fun. it at 10 feet. You I know? guess that makes yeah. sense. But they do yeah. use a smaller ball. So. But that's easy to switch does it matter? Out. Like, it you is, could, it you is. Could, like, buy it and then give it. I agree, dude, the dunking. I, would, but I just want to see them dunk, dude. Like, hard, like. They need to learn to jump higher. Bro, yeah. it's hard. It's hard, dude. <laughs> but I don't know. It's, Can like, you dunk, Danny? Fuck no. Yeah. I wish. Do you think you could, no, I um, could, probably, I could beat me dunk. in a hundred meter dash? Dude, hundred <laughs> percent. Backwards. You want to make a bet? I actually think I could maybe beat you backwards. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Let's go. What, what would you bet on it? Dude, I don't even want to. You might pull something, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. No, I'll, I'll, I've been running a lot. I read some stat recently that was like, it was like eight, 90 something percent of people over the age of like 30 don't sprint again. What, what do or you mean? Or sprint like one, or it was like, I don't know. It was like, like sprint one time a year or something. Like they just, once you hit a certain age, most people don't sprint ever again or just like barely ever sprint again. What, are you saying you regularly sprint? <laughs> no, I, I'm fucking active, yes. <laughs> like how, how often? often do you sprint? Uh, At least once a week. Cap. When? Cap. <laughs> When do you sprint? <laughs> on God. On God. When do you um, sprint? I like, well, I don't know. Wednesday it doesn't right, matter the day. Uh, it doesn't matter. The Gosh. <laughs> when do you sprint? <laughs> yeah. Like that like, matters. <laughs> when do you sprint? Uh, Let's race then. Do you have a private? I want you guys to put a wager on this. That's a. Dude, okay. I'll smoke him. Let's, how about like $5? Whatever you want. It's mine. Uh, yeah. Taking anything. Okay. Let's put a real wager on Put your dog on it. Come on. Bonnie versus my dog. Do you have a private gym in Florida? I use my garage here, but I did have one, uh, but the building got knocked down. So I just go to this like local gym right now. Do you bench press and stuff? Mm-hmm. Wow. Doesn't look like it, but sometimes I do. You never thought about renting out this house? I have, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. what I told Danny. I'm like, dude, you have 17 bedrooms in here. Like, give yeah, me a and, few and of them. Yeah, but you are paying a mortgage and, or is it mostly paid off or no? I bought it for 3.6. I put a million down and I bought it four years ago. Okay. 2019. I definitely still have a mortgage. Yeah. I just don't, I don't know what I Is own that it. stressful? A mortgage? Yeah. No? Why? I don't know. 
You just pay it every month on auto pay. And if you can't take it, if you can, if you don't have the money, if then I the bank, ever the was bank takes it back. No, no, no. Fuck no. If I was to ever run out of money, let's say I couldn't afford it. Yeah. Just take my shit out of here, bring it to Florida, and I'll just rent it out, and then they'll pay my mortgage for me, and eventually it'll be paid off. LA's, yeah. LA's turned to shit, in my opinion. It's getting worse every time. Like how so? It's everything sucks. I mean, I, I woke up today. We left. There's a fucking homeless man break dancing in the street. <laughs> it's just like every. I, I like that. I don't. And then maybe <laughs> steal. I had I had like I don't know 10, 15 boxes stolen in front of my house last week from Box? packages oh, like Amazon damn. packages and like yeah. companies sending me shit. Um, I had a fucking homeless guy come over on my gate and steal my broken unicycle. And then I was trying to help out the Jewish godfather. With his, he got evicted. So he had a shopping cart full of his shit. I let him put it on the side of my house. They took his suitcases. Oh my God. Um, I don't know. It's just a lot of that. A lot of theft. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of just criminals here. You know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't like the idea of like. It has, it has gone downhill a little bit. Yeah. I think a lot of people have left too, which makes it a little shittier. But I think the whole the whole gun things will like you can get guns here, but they make it really complicated mm -hmm. a little bit. Like the fact, like I just think putting the, not saying me, but I just mean a lot of people in LA, like Hollywood or like some of the wealthiest people like in the country and they put them all in this one little city. Mm. And then they're like, but you can't have guns to protect yourself from all these criminals that have guns. That, that thing just is a little weird, yeah. a little yeah. weird to me. I mean, that's like a, that's a, you could debate that all day, you know, the gun issue. Yeah, I don't debate it. I'm just, this is my thoughts. I'm just yeah. like, whatever. <laughs> Florida, I just have my shit, so I'm good. Yeah. Here, you got to have like illegal guns and stuff, you know? Yeah. I don't have that, though. Do you, how many guns do you own in Florida? <sighs> I don't know. A bunch. You remember when I shot your dad's yeah, gun? Yeah, yeah. SKS. <laughs> that was funny. I was like, <laughs> I mean, it's like the first time I've shot a gun, pretty much. That's funny. Yeah. In Florida? Or <laughs> yeah, in Florida. Ever, almost, yeah. I think I shot my dad's twenty two once, but. That's yeah. a big gun. It's for no, a big it's boy. Not. <laughs> Come on. And have you visited Inglewood? And yeah, yeah. I, I went there in 2016. I, I met his dad. And that was 2016? I think, yeah, 16, yeah. Really? Summer 2016. No way. Oh, I thought so that, that was like early on. So yeah. You, you, got, you guys met in 2015, you said, and mm -hmm. then 2016. Yeah. I mean, I was just, um, I was visiting Tampa, and he came, picked me up, and showed me around, and I met all the huh. uh, the kids at the beach with their lizards. Yeah, yeah, Devin, know? I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> that was his a, mom. That was a good time. Yeah, I didn't yeah. Even have a house then. I think you were probably around hundred thousand subs by then. Yeah, you wrote that thing about me. I sent that to him. Yeah, when I hit talk on. about that WordPress post. That was. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I just I don't know. I just had a I had a blog and I would add to it like once a month or so and I don't know. I just felt like gushing over Danny for a second. I like that post. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah, Danny was telling me last night. I just. Not that your Forbes article wasn't good, but that one meant more to me. Yeah, I gotta read that. Shit. It's yeah. a good one. It's a it's online. You can read it online. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I sent it to him yesterday. Yeah, Danny cool. framed it too. I was blown away, but it's uh sweet. I, I feel like it's so cool. I mean, there's that old quote that like if you're at the top, like uh, sending the elevator back down for people like uh Oh yeah. To 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 get there. It feels like you did a lot of that for Danny. Um, I mean, I don't know. A little bit. He's he's definitely works a lot harder than me. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely has a, a lot more uh, work ethic. And, You're burned uh, out, I know. Yeah, I, I got caught up in like smoking weed and drinking a bit and stuff, but I'm on a good streak now. Sober, so, hundred and some days. Mm -hmm. School, congrats. Thanks. Never gonna drink again or what? I don't think so. It's what about at like point. a wedding or something? No, your even, own wedding, even not a wedding. Really? Like, like, a, yeah. This is kind of the true test because I, you know. Around Chad and a lot of people, I felt like drinking, but I, I haven't. I love being sober, but I don't mind being around people who drink. But like, one thing I always I feel like is that people, people like want to hide it from me or something, or they want to feel weird about it, and I hate that because like I don't give a fuck if someone drinks at all. But it's like kind of they get like awkward or, well, I don't know. It's like personally, I hate being around drunk people when I'm sober. Yeah, I don't mind it. Like if, if they're annoying, like really annoying drunk yeah, people, which yeah. but there's a lot of people that drink that are fine. Honestly, my dad yeah. when he drinks is actually funnier. Yeah, it depends on the not person. A, he's yeah. not as much of a dick. Some people like they they're not um they can like hold their Yeah, but like, obviously any I don't I think drunk people though don't want to be around those type of drunk people. You know what I mean? Like no yeah. one wants to be around them. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that's like it doesn't bother me if someone drinks. But yeah, if you're like vomiting on the couch, like yeah, yeah. no one no one wants to deal with that. But yeah, I guess they just they want to be polite. I know? guess, yeah, true. Yeah. I'm looking at it the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, they're just trying to be polite. Yeah. Same with weed, you know, all that. None of that. I mean, at least for me, none of that stuff bothered me. Honestly, you nothing. never smoked weed? Yeah, I've smoked weed. When? High school. How often did you do it? 
just a few times. It's like a summer in a summer. Same summer I drank. You didn't like it? I liked it to be honest. Oh. Yeah. Alcohol I don't really care for I didn't really care for alcohol at all. I don't see the point in that. Yeah. Weed died. I, I liked weed. Yeah. I don't know. I just tell people out there like wait till you're ready. Like don't I don't think anyone should do anything if they're pressured into it. If yeah, that makes of course. sense. Like, yeah. Like drink don't drink alcohol if you're forced or pressured. Well, yeah, it. there's like a whole new like movement, you know, of, of you know, Gen Zs and TikTokers that aren't drinking. Mm -hmm. Something I forgot what it's called, like dry something and a whole bunch of mocktail industries coming out or not industries like mocktail beverages like it's just pretty much oh yeah that we looked it's pretty into much that. like soda with like ashwagandha or, you yeah know? We, we looked into that too as like a brand because I, I was okay. trying to find something that i was like really passionate about which is that led me to the energy shop but mm -hmm. um we were gonna do i thought about maybe doing a non-alcoholic beverage because i knew that industry was kind of getting bigger this was yeah. a few, few years back so Bridey rocks yeah right <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah i didn't uh <laughs> it wasn't something i was really passionate about like yeah I think it's cool that they have those as options and stuff, but I don't like, it's not like I'm like chugging those down. Andrew, I, dude, I thought your um, video about, you had this one about going broke was so open and vulnerable on your channel. Can you talk about that and some of the le lessons you've learned about making money on YouTube? Yeah, it, it's it's ironic because I got lucky with that one. It was like the first one in a year or so that got over uh, 200,000 views that like popped off to four or 500,000 a month. And um. I remember I, I just had to get a video done for this brand keeps and it was due that day. And I just was like, uh, I don't know what to do. And I, I just went and sat on the bench and talked about that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just kind of, yeah, it took me about 10 minutes. <laughs> but, but, so, but, <laughs> no, but some of the things in that video, like you're talking about oh, right. 2018, I think you said you made over 200 K 2019 made over 200 K, but then afterwards, like it kind of went through. A yeah. I mean, I kind of just lost focus around 2019. Um, the yeah, the pandemic happened. That didn't help. Uh, and but yeah, I kind of it was just a mixture of depression and alcoholism and burnout and just not being excited about filming and uploading anything. Mm -hmm. And you know, just and then yeah, that just over time, I, that's just how it works. You know, you. <laughs> but I'm I'm a lot I'm a lot more stable now. I'm in a, in a lot better place now. You still feel like that? Like, what do you think the biggest struggles are for you? Mm. Like with the content? I don't know. Or don't even know. in the past, like what were the biggest? Things? I think just I don't know. I'm just lazy and and like scared to talk to people and it's weird. Like I, that's so funny to hear. I mean, you're the guy who goes on the streets and talks to people. It's interesting to hear you say that. Yeah, I mean, I don't you know. find depression funny. <laughs> no, I said him talk. He said well, he had anxiety talking to you. I'm like, to um, me, he looks fearless in his videos. You yeah, know? I'm just kidding. Well, yeah, I mean, it takes a lot out of me. I, I, I mean, I could never do like more than like one in a week. You know, okay, how long for people who don't know, how long are you standing on the street to get, let's say, a 10 minute video with those answers? Like, how many people are you talking to? How many hours are you oh, out there? Uh, like a couple hours. A couple hours on average to make a video. Now, yeah, yeah. I'm not a. I'm just. I've always been kind of <laughs> lazy. Yeah, and it, I don't. But I maybe I I just need to change that mindset. I get burned out, but then I'm like, it might not last forever. <laughs> just keep doing it, I guess. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't know when yeah. it's gonna end. You know, it's gonna yeah. end. It's like, well, yeah, you say that. Like, I've always felt like I've been in control of that. Like, if I want, yeah, to pop off, and, and maybe I'm thinking wrong, or I don't know. I just yeah. like I get a good moment. Like I'm in a good position. I get. I'm like blessed with this. Like opportunity that's like what i'm like i'm like try to make the most of it even when it like at least when i'm like feeling yeah because i remember when i used to wake up man i'd be like fuck yeah let's go like just yeah. ready to go and i definitely am not like that now i fucking right. hate waking up <laughs> yeah, yeah now it's like it you know you're it becomes a job a little bit you know 100 percent. yeah but i yeah. know people don't like yeah it's you can't even exp yeah you can't even explain it that was a big thing like working at taco bell this last year i was there for like six months and it was like I don't know. It was like it was the pretentious answer is self discovery, but I was really just trying to get get the rent. You know? <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, yeah but it's also like trying to like like I like I know and I on the, from the outside I know how ridiculous it is. Like why why can't I just upload every day and you know why am I like so like resisting and and hesitant about it? But um, and and I was like trying to get the Taco Bell to like okay, it's like either this and 
or that, you know, and like force me like that, you know, help me wake up to how good I have it, you know. He's like thinking that while eating like <laughs> a quesadilla <laughs> or gordita crunch. <laughs> I I, pro- I probably ate like a thousand dollars worth of free Taco Bell. Hell yeah. It was a fun job. Yeah. I think about that though too. Like if I'm just like not feeling or let's say, I, let's say it's a stunt or something. I don't want to do it. Yeah. I'm just like, try to like, just, I try to like psych still, myself still out. better than a real job. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, do you want to go back to Walgreens? <laughs> I'm like, fuck no. No, yeah. and no disrespect. I know there's people out there that work at Walgreens. It's just not for me. I don't want to be there. You know, I feel yeah. bad. I, I don't. When's the last I, time you had that thought? Fucking today, dude. <laughs> the fuck? yeah. I, I think about it every day. I hate, dude. I hated working. Walgreens felt like like prison. You know, I just don't like. For me, it was That's like rough. it was cool in the beginning. It was like whatever. I was stocking shelves, and then eventually, I just hate like. I mean, I mean everyone does. You know, whether you agree with me or not. You, yeah, of you course. Don't. But everyone, no one likes repetition, dude. Like. Mon- monotony have a good day have a good day and, and honestly that's kind of how like meet and greets feel i don't like meet and greets but i can psych myself out and be like try to picture myself meeting someone i'm a hero of or a fan of like mm-hmm. or is a hero of mine like um so i can do that or i mean this sounds bad too but like when you're doing meet and greets i would get sick too so i'd be like really wasn't in it like i was fucking like sick so i was like doing it and it sucked when you meet someone with like cancer and they're like stoked to see you yeah like I, I know it might sound bad i don't mean it in a rude way but like when you meet someone with cancer it's like you want to give them like or, or whatever they have maybe they have some sort of condition you want to give them like the best experience that you can right because you you know you don't know what's gonna happen you know the don't know if they'll live or die like so like when i meet a kid on tour with let's say cancer i'm like super stoked right like hug them whatever you know you, you give them your energy like your energy bumps up right mm-hmm. it's like you take like a matter or something imagine i plug like that <laughs> i'm just kidding no no but honestly it's like it's like you like so then i take a matador and it's great no 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 <laughs> but it's like you boost it up like right so yeah, yeah. then during like tour i would pr- try to pretend it sounds so bad i would tr- try to pretend every kid had like cancer or something okay so that i would try to give them like the best no experience. i think that's like, fine yeah like I, yeah because i wasn't like ripping people off for for more like dude my tour tickets were like 25 bucks and I did three different tours, like within like four or five years, and I never changed the price. I looked yeah, at twenty five. That would overwhelm time. me. Yeah, because yeah. I just was trying to like. I know you're, you're going to profit a little bit, but I definitely lose money doing a tour rather than I do profit. But like the time spent doing that, I could have put into something else right. and made more money. But it's like hmm. people are just like, oh, you made, you know, they they don't they right. the haters, you know, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Hater. But like you know, the fans cool because you get to meet your fans. It's like. I also think like when I'm 80, it's like, I'm going to be glad I did certain mm-hmm. things, you know? And I want to like do as many experiences as I can. Cause yeah, you know, I want to be fucking just done Yeah, when I'm older. I want to be like, I don't want to so ever feel like I didn't give it my all, you know? Okay. Well, when, when are you going to be done? Like how much money to retire? I don't even want to, that's what I don't, I, I feel okay. like people should, that's why I say like, when, I feel bad that kids that got like parents make them go to college or the parents make them get a job here. It's like, I don't even care about, like, I obviously want to make as much money as possible, but I don't give a fuck about money, you know? Like, at the same time, like, right. I just want to do what I like doing, which is what I'm doing. Do you think you'll ever settle down and build a family? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Have you bought any crypto? Like, when it was, like, popping during COVID, I think. Oh. We just kept buying it. You don't have it. any? No. Nah. Wow. But Danny, you said no to a huge deal. What was it, like, a few million dollar deal, like, to <laughs> Wizza. Yeah. Wizza. Wiz? Wizza. Wizza. I know it's done. like a platform to buy crypto. I don't know what it was. Or no, it was like a giveaway type thing. Like you buy like entries to win a car, but like Nelk had done it and everyone was saying they scammed their fans with like this Ferrari and never gave the Ferrari uh, to a real winner. Yeah. I just didn't want to be known as like You don't want to end up on Coffeezilla. I just I actually might have asked him asked him or someone about it. Like, what are your thoughts on Wizza? And like I asked a bunch of people about it. Um I yeah, I just didn't want people to think I'm a fucking scam people. Yeah, like yeah. I want to get rich and make money, but I don't want to yeah. do that at like someone losing money. Is it, like so I don't want to like do it a by fucking people, people over. A lot of people as soon as they hear anything crypto, they assume it's scammy. Good, as they should. Because it probably is. Well, yeah, I mean like not, NFT. It can't all be not all of it, but like okay. look at all the NFT shit. It's like, bro, I knew that was a scam. It, it, I, mean, in the moment. I just think of that as a bunch of nerds selling JPEGs, you know. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I agree with that, but like when you have influencers doing it, like they're NFTs and you get like, like, what do you, you know what I mean? It's just like, bro, obviously it's like, obviously beanie, it's, a it's money like grab. beanie babies. It's the market that controls it. You know, it's like the people something. want them. No, man. but still like when you're, when you have like millions of followers and you're pushing this joke of a thing, that's okay, what I mean. Right. Whereas beanie babies was like okay. different, you know, yeah, and like, no, I get you and like the coin, remember the coin thing? Like, right. So it's, coin. Yeah. So you it's mean like, it's like pump and dump. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, I hate, I hate that it. shit. Like right. I don't get how you can, I, I understand not everyone grew up with nothing. Mm-hmm. So they may not understand that, but like when you get a following by people, 
and the same people that made you famous and rich and then you fuck them over. It's like how that it's like fucking over your mom or something, you know? Yeah. It's like the person who gave birth to you. Like, yeah, of course. It's like, I don't get how people do that. That one's weird to me. I hear you have a, yeah. When's the book come out? (laughs) Dude, fucking jokes, bro. I went through (laughs) an author. He sucked. I went through another author. He sucked. I've already wasted like 70 grand, dude. It's It's trash. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. It's not it, man. It's I went through some. I went through some shit, you know. I'm it's not, not the just, move on cap on. It's not God. the move, dude. Yeah. On, on, no the, cap for real. The draft I saw, like, dude, uh, does absolutely no justice. To, uh, <sighs> okay, I yeah. try to get him to so, write it, but he's so too busy. Uh, wait, how are you finding <laughs> these authors? Fiverr? Dude, that guy wrote an author. No, that guy. <laughs> the first. Oh no, no, the, dude. The first guy was like wrote Eminem's book, wrote Derek Jeter's book. He fucking sucked. Oh. This, this guy. No disrespect to this guy, but he's a fucking idiot, dude. No, I, di- need, I need to read this draft, no, dude. I gotta show you. It. It was like, and Danny had t- uh, two uncles and and three aunts and eight cousins and four. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about, dude? Just that say sounds, I, that sounds like the Bible, bro. Just say I had a big family, like yeah. you know what I mean, or whatever it is. Like I, I don't know how to write. I don't know where to put commas. And, Jer- like, and Jared, I begat Enos and Enos. <laughs> Big hat Zena, you know. <laughs> yeah, that the Gosh. first guy was a fucking clown. I think I only had to give him like it's a lot though for how shitty of an like. You I mean, had to I pay got him still. I still had to pay him the like how I think he got ten k like half the deposit uh-huh. was twenty k. Okay. But I mean, this guy did nothing. He actually wasted. Well, me how did time. it work though? Like, did you sit down with him and he's just like on All the right, phone? So like, this is the outline. No, I did like phone calls with him and then. Okay. He fucking sucked. That guy is a fucking <laughs> idiot, dude. We got to find his name, dude. I don't know. I don't remember his well, name. Well, no, I don't. I mean. Yeah, we shouldn't put that out. We shouldn't throw him. No, he, he's so bad. He is so bad at, as an author. Gosh. We should actually throw him under a real bus. No. Like, that's how bad he was. No, I'm not joking. I mean, we should put it in there, like the little thing he sent me. <laughs> and I had to pay 10. Guys, remember, I had to pay 10 grand for this. We're going to put it in there. I got to find it. It was so, uh, <laughs> I mean, I could have wrote better and I don't know how to write. Did the Derek Jeter so, books that he wrote, like, are they bestsellers? He did have a lawsuit with with someone, a famous person sued him for, I think, doing a horrible job on her, her book also as a girl. Okay. I'll find it. But After okay. it came out? Yeah, yeah. Like so, she didn't know it during the draft? I don't know. I don't know. I, or maybe it didn't come out. I don't know. But there was a lawsuit. So mm-hmm. anyway, the second guy was way better for sure. Uh-huh. Came to Florida. We sat down for hours. He recorded. I did. I mean, he was good. He he wrote a book I read as a kid from an athlete I was a fan of, and it was better. But then the direction just started moving the wrong way, and it wasn't it no more. And I don't I don't want to talk shit on him, but um, yeah, it just wasn't. It's just not portraying it the way I want it. It's just not it. Yeah. Okay. Um, he could probably add. He could probably talk his shit better. Oh, I, no, I'm, I won't talk bad about it. But I went through like it just. Does, it's like so vanilla, and Danny's story is anything but. You know. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I would like to do a book one day and then um, tour that rather than do my tours I was doing. Cool. Um, are you going to write your book, Sex, Drugs, and YouTube? <laughs> Sex, Drugs, and YouTube. That's um, a good title. I like that title. You got. You should trademark that now before this comes out. And I don't know. It's a little tacky. I like it. It's not like I was like a rock star, you know? You, but you weren't, but you were like the, um, which is a lot of these kids don't know, man. You were like the goat. You know what I mean? You really were like, you, you were like that very first wave. The very first wave, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Pretty much, which uh, which kind of set the tone for everyone else. Mm-hmm. Like it didn't exist. Even when I started doing YouTube, it wasn't like I want to be a YouTuber. People were like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, you know. When I started, like, and you started before me, so it's like mm. you were really like the first. So it means something. Yeah, maybe. And you went through. I, 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 I like another title. I like is just full. Nah, full. Sucks. Fool. Sucks. Fool. Oh, fool. I like F O O L. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you meant F U L L. Fool. I was like, what? My a <laughs> memoir. By Andrew Hales, you know? Yeah, that's good. Isn't that clean and nice? I like the sex, drugs, and YouTube. <laughs> Lit. <laughs> yeah. And you did drugs, too, so it fits. Whereas for me, it didn't doesn't fit. Or I would <laughs> the, steal it. The, co- the cover of the book is like me between two asses. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not me at all. <laughs> you should call me sex, drugs, and I didn't do drugs. Sex, sex, and sex. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. uh, no, no, no. You see my book comes out. It says, fool. A Danny Duncan <laughs> memoir. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's funny. me as a clown, like dressed <laughs> yeah. up as a clown. <laughs> or no, or clown is another one I yeah. thought is a good one. Just yeah. clown. That's funny. You should write, you could definitely write a book, man. You've been through it all. It's pretty sick. I do like that. Yeah, I like, gotta get around that. Maybe, my, maybe next Christmas. One of my favorite things is this, like even <laughs> documentaries are like when someone does this, I mean, Jordan, Jordan Belfort is kind of a good example. I know it wasn't really a documentary, but mm-hmm. someone who does this hits rock bottom and then there's a movie or a book that then brings them back up. I uh, love those stories. Yeah. Like most of my favorites. Yeah. Or like same with like maybe a song. 
guy. I think I think it actually happened with uh, who's the one dude who uh, I've messaged him on Instagram. The he walked across the country. He did Everest. What's oh, his name? Mike, Mike 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 Posner. Yeah, Mike Posner. So he he talked about how he had a song, his first song, whatever, blew up, and then mm-hmm. it kind of went down, and then he did another song that kind of was talking about how he did that. Yeah, and yeah, then it blew him up yeah, again. You know, I love those. Yeah, I think I've seen that clip. Yeah, yeah those stories are sick. Well, it's also amazing. I mean, he used to like uh, he put out that song as a ballad, and then somebody put it out as a remix, and the remix took off. That's funny, yeah, you know? th- that it remix was, that yeah, um, I took a pill in a bees uh, that one yeah that that's like the most nostalgic song of 2016 and yeah like when you were around and stuff and not living in Florida and always traveling oh that song yeah oh, it's like it's like nostalgic of that time when I saw like Danny and when I, were, I saw Danny a lot more I miss those days man <laughs> yeah. yeah miss those days zero Fresh sugar in this too really. Yeah. So can I can I open this? Yeah, open it. You sure? Yeah, yeah. And you only have like two of these. We'll drink that one. I'll sh- I'll sh- I'll split it with you. All right. I'm this shit's good, man. Strawberry. I hope it's not. I hope the slush doesn't make it taste different though. Strawberry as- acai. Here we go. This is one of the flavors we tested. This is finished flavor. This is finished. It's good. Say we'll save the bottle though. Yeah. Here is I go. Is it slushy? No. Okay, just drink half. Yeah, drink some of it. It's really good. And there's no, there's none of that like after medicine taste, right? A little bit. But not like five hour. <laughs> be honest. Yeah, no. Yeah, five hours is a lot worse. Five hours sucks, bro. Yeah. You can't even drink that shit anymore. I can't compared to this. Yeah. Let me try it. Let me make sure it's normal. Mm. I just, yeah, I love like the little high buzz you get from five hours. and No, that shit's smooth. Yeah, it's, it's That's smooth. It's, it's delicious. You, I, I would love if you sent me as much as you can. That you, you know. <laughs> I wish there was more in it. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> comes with a little straw. Dude, that is good. It's yeah, it's, it's delicious. See, I'm excited. I I think yeah. So I went through I, a I'm lot excited of. I went through you. a lot of tastings and we couldn't get it right. This will, this will take you to billionaire status. I have some of your books at my house. We accidentally picked them up from the trailers when I got my stuff in Florida. Yeah. So reading like one of one of them's like um, fifty cent or something. Yeah, I love oh, him. Yeah, he's my hero. Get rich something. He has his poster in the toilet. Yeah. He's, oh really? He's my number one, low key. Hmm. Yeah, I've never met him. He's the only one I haven't met at all my heroes. I thought you met him really? at the concert recently. I was supposed to go, but it didn't happen. Oh. You don't like Drake? He's cool. He's he seems funny. I feel like we'd get along. I got tickets to Drake with Carly and um, for Nashville back in uh, May, and he was supposed to do a show in June and. He postponed it to October, and so we waited, you know, another five months, and then he postponed it again, and now we just, yeah, everyone in Nashville has been waiting for Why? Sh- Why? I don't know. We don't, we just, we just got an email saying he, it's um, postponed indefinitely. What, what does that mean? Canceled? Like, like no, he, he, it's to be, to be determined. Oh. So when's he going to have it? Imagine. We don't know. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I was about to get annoyed. <laughs> I'll make jokes and you don't even yeah. get them joking. No, I know. They go, like they, they go right past Dude, he'll get head. mad and shit. I'm like, dude, I'm just joking, man. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> oh. Yeah, that's funny. Remember when you would just like text me at 3 a.m. and be like, want to go to Denny's? Dude, I don't even remember that. Yeah. Where was I? I? It was like you were like just getting out of a Tinder date or something. And we'd go eat, like, drink. <laughs> Tender dates, man. <laughs> we'd, go, we'd go to Denny's at, like, 3 or 2 in the morning or something. Dude, I love Denny's. I haven't been on Tender in, like, <laughs> seven years. You have a family? Yeah. You have a little yeah. baby? We have a little baby, yeah. Wow. Yeah, two, two, three months old. That's exciting. Should have brought the baby here, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just pop them right here. I like when the babies are, like, three, four years old. Like, my niece Remy is so fucking funny. Toddler. Once they can start talking and shit. Dude, yeah, you should, you should squirt out some babies. Dude, I don't have a vagina. <laughs> I wish. I yeah. want to have kids one day, maybe. I'm just busy. Yeah. I don't want to be, like, rude to the mother and child. I want to, like, give it my time. Yeah, def- you good. Know? Yeah, You don't, don't want like, to have, like, a bunch it. of baby mamas. Definitely not. Yeah. I think, honestly, I think having the kid is not really the much of the issue. The, it's the whoever has the kid is the problem. You have, like to, you, you have you to make kinda, sure they're the right person. Yeah, because you're going to love the kid no matter who right. has the baby. Like right. You're going to love the kid. But the, the the woman is like you have to deal with forever. 
Yeah. The baby's birthdays, the graduation, the that wedding. Could be, yeah, that, like could be, that could be such a nightmare. Yeah. yeah, that's like... It's like that's, you like, can't, like pro- that's probably the most important... Here, it is, yeah. it is. Probably the most important decision you ever made. So that's like the hardest part, you know, um, is, is that... But then, but then when you do find the right person, then you, you got to be ready for that, which I'm probably not ready for right now, yeah. but one day maybe. Yeah. I think you'll get there. You already have all the merch, Danny. The I love hot moms. I don't oh, know. Yeah. Dad's like, I know. Just, just pick up some MILFs. <laughs> no, it's not finding the girls. Not the issue. It's like giving them. Yeah. The, I, right. I know. Yeah. Dude's just busy, <laughs> man. Right. You're, you don't have time for a relationship right now. I mean, I do want to travel too. I want to go to like Tokyo and Thailand and just do whatever the fuck I want. It's yeah. hard to do that when, yeah, you know, yeah. There's not you, enough time, time in the day. You I wish should, there was more yeah. time. You know how it is. Like, I want to go skateboard and I want to do my podcast and I want to do jujitsu and boxing and work out and get jacked, mm-hmm. have sex. Can't do it maybe, all. Well, maybe you need a personal assistant to like make you a schedule, <laughs> dude. That could we be need like good. we need forty eight hours in the day. Right. I'm trying to learn parkour with this guy. Like, there's so many things you want to do. You sleep eight hours a day? And I make myself sleep. Yeah, even if I'm... You mean, like, with a sleeping pill? No, no, no. Like, if I... Like, today I woke up at, like, eight, and I felt good, but I was like, I don't know if... I don't know if five, six hours is enough, so I made myself sleep another couple hours, just so, like, I'm... Yeah. I think it's important. I could be wrong. I think it's important to get seven, eight hours every single night. Absolutely. I just... Even if I'm one... Even if I'm... Ready to go? I just fucking make myself sleep. If, there, hour if there was a button where I could, press. I fucking wish. I think I about that. I fucking day. wish. I think about it every day. <laughs> Maybe your next product could be a sleep thing. That those sell like hotcakes. I know. I saw. There's a thing called um like uh, melatonin. Dream, melatonin. Dream water. Yeah. Have you heard of dream water? Well, valerian root, ashwagandha, uh, vitamin. Say what? Dream water. They yeah, have I've, at the seen, I've seen those in the airport. Yeah. Yeah, I've never tried it, but my Alex, my filmer, loves them. Okay. He said it helps a lot, but yeah, yeah. no, I do wish you had a. Because I just like lay in bed, dude. I wish if like, I'm like, oh, it's only 1130. Let's go to sleep. But if I do that, I'm going to sit there for three hours. Yeah. But like if it was 1130, I'd go I'm, and wake <laughs> up in eight hours. That'd be great. Yeah. Because I could force myself to do that. I need to be like my eyes. Like I can't keep my eyes open. I know. I love that feeling. Sleep, I know? love that feeling. It reminds me of like sleepovers when you're like a kid, when you just stay up until mm-hmm. you can't anymore. That's the best. PlayStation 1. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cool Borders. Don't know what that is. You never played that? Cool Borders. Snowboarding. Hmm. Was um, it snowboarding kids? I thought it was just called cool boarders. Oh, snowboarding! I remember 1080s like, board, snowboarding, like the half pipe. I don't know. Mortal Kombat, yeah. Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two. Oh yeah, you know the. Oh vibes. yeah, him on the pod. That was probably like the most. Oh yeah, I heard. Yeah, dude, was I was crazy. high. Upstairs, it was early. Like, it was early. Yeah. Well, what not, what time? <laughs> no, it wasn't that early. Actually, it was noon. But I had stayed up till okay. like eight. No, I had stayed up till like yeah. eight a.m. So I was fucking fried. Yeah. I was so tired. I read I read his uh his memoir. I haven't. I need to. It's yeah, called yeah. Hawk, I think. Really? Yeah. I read that in high school. Any advice for me? For you? About what? Anything. Um, I think you need to uh you need to love yourself before you can love someone else. Hmm. Deep. Yeah. And um you should you need to be gentle to yourself and forgive yourself and um that's yeah that's about it okay <laughs> and what about you man what's uh up next like any projects you're excited about um i'm i mean i'm i'm excited to rock and roll with more chatting with and maybe surprise them with some pranks definitely the people ons where I, we got three weeks in a row now on every monday i like monday uploads sunday's yeah. my favorite so i'm trying to switch to sunday i've been doing a lot of live streams lately have you ever done that no yeah it's Where like, do you live stream? It's really Twitch. easy money. This dude said just he, YouTube. This dude said he does live streams at. Can I say this? Yeah. He said he does live streams at like four a.m. because his brother's not awake and he can't <laughs> tease him. I'm like, what the Wait, fuck? What? He said his brother will go in the comments and talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> How old is your brother? He's like thirty nine. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you know, he, he'll tease me in the comments. Dude, that's but so funny. Well, and I, just, it, I just get self-conscious with him, like, <laughs> knowing he's there watching. Dude, that's so funny. Um, so I'll, I'll, like, I kind of gravitate towards doing them when, like, when it's, like, two in the morning in Utah, you know, where he lives. So imagine basing your whole, imagine <laughs> being, like, the first, like, group of YouTubers. <laughs> you have t- millions of followers, and then you do live streaming later on in life, and you have to, like, schedule it around your brother sleeping. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> does he know that? Yeah, a little bit. I've told him like that I that's why I do it at night because when he's asleep but yeah I'm just I get self-conscious same with my mom I don't want her to see my live streams 
if I'm like, because I don't know, I'll swear sometimes. Stuff oh, like yeah. That. Yeah. And they're Mormon, right? So you can't cuss? Yeah. And I just, it's just cringy. I just get self-conscious knowing if anyone I know really is watching the stream. Did your family, you're, so you're not Mormon at all? No. How does that work? No, I just uh, stopped going as soon as I moved out. Did your family be, like, were they upset with you? Yeah. The, my mom and my dad were um, there was a, it was a little rocky for a couple of years, but now they treat me normally. Cool. Yeah. Andrew, do you grow up in Utah? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, most, most of it. I was Ooh, shirt and tie. Remember that video? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. For most of my life, I, I was in Connecticut for sophomore and junior year of high school, but yeah, then college and everything else was in Utah. Really. How did that happen? I guess your first like upload. Well, I guess the first one that I, I count. That like wasn't like a cell phone video. I, I posted an ad on Craigslist for someone to help hold my camera, and I just had some funny ideas I wanted to do, hidden camera stuff. And then we met at McDonald's and talked about it. And then then we met the next week and just filmed almost picking up chicks. And you were just like, I'm gonna post this and make money, or was that not a yeah, thought? Well, n- yeah, that was the hopefully I was at like. 5,000 subs at that point. And it was monetized and everything, so it would show there was money in it? Mm-hmm. Huh. Because it felt so, like, impossible when I started. Even though people were already doing it, it just felt impossible. But yeah. I remember there was 28 cents, and I was like, oh, shit, it's possible. Yeah. Right. It's possible. Yeah, I, um, yeah, there were, yeah, the first, I think, there was some months there was, like, $2, you know. Yeah. And then World Star picked up almost picking up chicks, and it got, like, 40,000 views or something, and... I had like 10 other videos and those kind of got some views and there was like $700 in the AdSense. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's happening. That's crazy. Yeah. So I was like, oh man, this could be something. Yeah. So we, I was, I was really um, um, diligent about doing it every Monday back then. Yeah. I try to, I think that's another thing. People always ask me for advice on my post every week. Get, make it like a habit with your audience. Yeah. Because then they make it a habit to watch it. Yeah. And, and YouTube will not push you if if you're not posting weekly. Yeah. Or Do you notice if you don't post in a while, then it well, sucks I got, when you do upload? Yeah, I got sick on tour. I got sick on tour and then I didn't, I was fucked up. I couldn't post for, it took like three weeks. And I definitely saw a huge drop and I was like, God damn. Yeah, the algorithm's like, you deserve this. <laughs> yeah, you they're know? like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like. This yeah. is what you deserve. Like, if you're not going to care about me, I don't care about you. Yeah, it's crazy. like a relationship with I the know. algorithm. <laughs> Felt like I was on the baseball team and missed practice or something. Yeah, like you're not playing punishment. Shit. Yeah. Did you ever make it on a real Wheaties box? No, I've never done anything really. Mm. I need to accomplish some stuff one day. <laughs> oh, I yeah. You should start the hot dog stand and call it Glizzy Gobbler. <laughs> Glizzy Gobbler. <laughs> Glizzy Gobblers. You like that? Yeah, or Glizzy or get your Glizzies here. Or I don't know. We should we should just set up or come gobble some glizzies. <laughs> we should set up a hot dog stand at Danny's Green Pies. The kids, your your audience would like go crazy for that. Yeah, honestly, the hot dog stand might work. Yeah, we could put that on my ice cream or at my ice cream shop. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not in the same ballpark as Oliver Tree, but I appreciate you having me. Yeah, man, thanks for do, thanks do you, for coming for real. Yeah, of course, yeah, means a lot to me. Yeah, means more than the Oliver Tree one for sure. Should I do an outro? Oh, All sure. right. Uh, All right, guys, check out shoploft.com. <laughs> yep, there this. it is. Freedom, we baby. This, we've got these really cool merch. America. 